Greetings from MBBS Academy. Stay home, stay safe. Today we are going to discuss about from IIT Mathematics class 8th and 9th chapter mensuration. So mensuration. We are going to find out in the mensuration we are measuring the areas and the volumes. So for geometrical figures we are going to find out areas. Okay. And also one more requirement here. For solid objects, we are going to find out volumes too. Okay. Today we are going to discuss about the surface areas and volumes for these solid objects. So two-dimensional figures have areas. So those are presenting on the only surfaces. Next, solid objects. That means which way, which can we hold on space? So this is a in the form of a cylindrical shape we are holding in space this is the duster this is also a three dimensional object we are going to hold on the space this type of objects going to find out for the total surface area and the lateral surface area and also volume okay we have different types of the solid objects so first one is cuboid Second one is Q. Third one is Cylinder. Fourth one is Cone. Fifth one is Sphere. Sixth one is Hemisphere. Now we are going to derive the formula for these solid objects because these are three dimensional objects two dimensional on surface three dimensional on space so like duster marker and this thick board whatever we can hold on the space those are three dimensional objects so those three dimensional objects forms can be taken as Cuboid, cube, cylinder, cone, sphere and hemisphere. Now we are going to derive each and every one. Their total surface area, lateral surface area and volume. So first of all we are considering here cuboid. I want to derive formula for the cuboid. How I am going to derive the formula for cuboid look at here. After that we are going to take example and finish with the problems each and every solid object a solid okay see first one cuboid I want to draw the figure partially it is uh, equal to cuboid or not just you have to understand length breadth and this is height okay now this cuboid has six faces okay bottom top sides front back now area of the base length into breadth lb and top also lb next side HB and opposite of this one also HB. Next, we are going to see front view H into L. So, front view is LH, back view also LH. Okay, now we are going to take total surface area. Simply, we can take it as TSA, total surface area. Okay, bottom plus top. 2LB side opposite of this side 2HB plus next we are going to take front and back 2LH so finally we are going to come on here to 2 into LB plus BH plus HL so this is total surface area next lateral surface area Lateral means except top and bottom, except roof and floor, 
except roof and floor the floor the floor four walls of the room can be taken as a lateral surface area except top and bottom we are going to take lateral so that lateral is here 2 hb plus 2 lh so finally we are going to common here 2 h so finally l plus b so lateral surface area is 2 h into l plus b next volume volume so volume here this base area multiplied with height area multiplied with third measurement then we will get volume then we will get capacity of the cuboid that means area of the base is l by and this area multiplied with height h then we will get volume of that cuboid so this is the volume of the cuboid next i am going to derive formula for cube in cube all sides are equal i am going to consider the equal side with the measurement as s so first of all i want to draw this one maybe partially it is equal to the cube so all are s only all sides are s okay six faces six faces each each face is a square each face is a square shape okay we know very well total surface area okay every cube is a cuboid but every cuboid need not be a cube okay total surface area 2 into s square 2s square plus 2s square sorry Two into s square plus s square plus s square. Okay. So here, how many faces? Six faces. So including opposite sides, two into three s square. That is equal to six s square. Total surface area six s square. Lateral surface area equal to four s square. That means two into s into s plus s. Two s into 2s that is equal to 4s square so this is lateral surface area next to volume volume of the cube volume of the cube can be taken as already base area is s square it is multiplied with the height s then it is equal to s cube okay and also i have forgotten one thing here the longest pole inserted in the cuboid The longest pole inserted in the cuboid is square root of L square plus B square plus H square. In the same manner, the longest pole inserted in the cube is square root of S square plus S square plus S square. And this one is root of 3S square. That is equal to root 3 into S. Okay, the longest pole inserted in the cube is root three into s. The longest pole inserted in the cuboid is square root of l square plus b square plus h square. So these are the derived formula for both the cuboid and the cube. Now we are going to see derivation of the cylinder. derivation of the formula for cylinder look at here cylinder cylinder first of all i want to draw this diagram okay 
it is radius it is height of the cylinder okay here this is the base and this is the top okay total surface area before going to know about the total surface area lateral surface area so here lateral surface is in the form of a curved shape so that's why curved surface area we are going to consider here curved surface area lateral surface area both are same lateral surface area consider with the lens curved surface area means so here lateral surface is curved shape so that's why curved surface area we are going to consider okay first of all we have to consider here curved surface area of the cylinder curved surface area of the cylinder so this curved surface area is so first of all we have to take perimeter of the base perimeter of the base is circumference of the circle so we know circumference of the circle is 2 pi r circumference of the circle is 2 pi r so that the circumference of the circle multiplied with the height h then we will get the curved surface area okay once again i want to explain this one we are going to find out only curved surface area of the cylinder okay so here base is in the form of a circle so circumference of the circle is 2 pi r we know very well and this circumference multiplied with the height of the cylinder then we will get the curved surface area that means lateral curved surface area of the cylinder next total surface area of the cylinder total surface area of the cylinder how can we find out total surface area of the cylinder so already curved surface area is 2 pi rh plus area of the base is pi r square area of the top also pi r square so finally 2 pi rh plus 2 pi r square 2 pi r will be common then h plus r this is total surface area of the cylinder next volume volume of the cylinder we are going to take here volume so here base base area is pi r square because circle area that circle area multiplied with h that circle area multiplied with h then we will get volume of the cylinder next we are going to derive the formula for cone it is very important okay volume of the cone always 1 by 3 on cylinder volume of the cone is always 1 by 3 on the cylinder see cone so examples for the cone is so we are ice, we are observing the ice cream cones and also joker caps those are those are uh, and also some tents in kulu kulu manali so some places we are observing tents like a cone okay so here it is a lateral surface area this curved surface area is lateral surface area what is the curved surface area this is the curved surface area and with the base radius r and this is the slant height we can consider this one as s or l and this is height of the cone okay we can also draw this cone from cylinder so that's why volume of the cylinder is always 1 by 3 1/3 third on the cylinder so volume of the cone is 1/3 on the cylinder so this is the very important point you have to remember okay so slant height is s or l a base radius is or height of the cone is h so first of all we have to find out curved surface area so curved surface area of the cone so here pi rs or pi rl 
okay see here this curved surface can be taken as so it is ending with the sharp end to this so that's why the curved surface area pi r s and if we want to find out the slant height s is equal to square root of observe this one this is a right angle triangle according to the pythagoras theory slant height is a hypotenuse slant height s is equal to h square plus r square square root of h square plus r square next to total surface area total surface area so already slant uh, already curved surface area is pi r s and base area is pi r square so pi r will be common then s plus r so this is total surface area next volume volume of the cone is 1/3 on pi r square h already i said that okay so volume of the cone is always 1/3 on the volume of the cylinder so that's why 1/3 into pi r square h next i want to derive the formula for sphere Sphere. So I want to make uh, this one as uh, two parts. Okay. So here it is a curved surface. Now total surface area of the sphere I am going to find out here. Only one surface area. That is a total surface area. Okay. So I want to make this one as uh, two parts. Upper part. Upper part is two pi r. So here to here is radius, and here to here is radius, and here to here is radius r. Okay. So this upper part multiplied with r, then we will get area of that upper part. So lower part. 2 pi r into r that is equal to 2 pi r square. Then total surface area of this one, upper part plus lower part, 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r square that is equal to 4 pi r square. Okay, total surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r square. Next volume here. I want to take this one as four cones. We are going to cut out into four cones. How many cones? We are going to cut out into four cones. So this is one cone, and this is one cone. This is one cone, and this is one cone. Totally, how many cones? Four cones. That one, and this one, this one, and this one. So each cone volume is one by three pi r square h. Okay. So how many cones we have cut out here? Four into one by three into pi r square h. Here h value is how much? Height of the radius of each cone also. So height of the each cone also r. So that's why h replaced with r. So four into one by three into pi r square into r. So finally four by three pi r cube. So this is. Volume of the sphere. Next, hemisphere. 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 Like a bowl. Okay. Okay. So it has a 
total surface area and curved surface area. Total surface area. So this curved surface area is 2 pi r square and the area of the top pi r square. Then 3 pi r square. Next curved surface area. It has curved surface area. Only this area. Okay. Perimeter is multiplied with the height of the hemisphere. Height of the hemisphere is R. Then 2 pi R square. Curved surface area of the hemisphere is 2 pi R square. Total surface area of the hemisphere is 3 pi R square. Next volume. Volume is half on the sphere. Half into 4 by 3 pi R cube. So 2 1s and 2 2s. So this is equal to 2 by 3 pi R cube. So volume of the hemisphere. So these are the derivation of formula for solid objects. You have to utilize. Thank you so much.